Bonjour mon amis, it is all jaunt. And uh, yeah, apparently the rumor mill has just gone crazy about a supposed Shaq Fu sequel. Yeah, a sequel to one of, oh my god, you know what? One of the worst fucking fighting games ever made. And everyone is up in arms, losing their goddamn minds. And let me just clarify right now to you people. First of all, I watched that video of this so-called implication. Shaq is not fucking serious. Okay? He's not serious. He is blatant. You can tell that he's being sarcastic. He's not being serious at all. In fact, he doesn't even look at the camera anymore than two or three seconds when he's talking about this shit. It's a joke. And he's trying not to laugh. And despite the fact that he has a shit-eating grin on his face the entire fucking time. But, let's say for the sake of example that he's not kidding. And that there is a Shaq Fu 2, if that's what it's going to be called, in the making. Who asked for this shit? I, did you did you ask for this? I, I didn't ask for this because uh, you know I remember this game being bad when it was new when I played it years ago, and uh, my opinion has not really fucking changed now that I'm you know a bit older and a little bit wiser and uh, know a good fucking game from a bad fucking game. Uh, but you know the people that actually want this are probably the same people that want it. Uh, shitty games like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and Cross Tekken and Killer Instinct. And the sad thing is that th this is true. The developers have pretty much figured you all out. They figured out that you are all sheep to nostalgia. You know, that they, they realize that you feed into nostalgia to the point where they can just give you crap like Sonic Generations and you'll buy it for that sole reason. Despite the fact that the overall product, when you put nostalgia aside, is pretty hard to accept and enjoy as a standalone complex. It's this rule that you have to play against. It's this condition that you have to basically submit yourself to. If it, The whole, if you're not a fan or you just don't understand. No, uh, I think that uh, something good, you, you shouldn't have to have fandom. I shouldn't have to be a fan of Transformers to watch and enjoy a good Transformers movie. I can watch the animated Transformers movie and enjoy it. But I'm not a Transformers fan. And I can still tell you that those Michael Bay movies are fucking terrible. And any sensible, honest fan will tell you the same thing. And that's the same for this shit. If they're actually making another Shaq Fu, it's going to end up just like Killer Instinct. Uh, a game that was shitty when it was new. And is shitty now, to this day. And then you motherfuckers are just ready to hop on it, ready to hop on that dick. Um, you know what? Uh, you can you can do that all you want. I'm gonna laugh at you just like I do all the Call of Duty fanboys, just like I do all the EA fanboys. Buy Madden every fucking year, and every shitty game that is monotonously monotonously designed, like Assassin's Creed, and pretty much every other game that falls in that line of category, full of DLC. So, if there is a Shaq Fu coming out, I have one thing to say. Let the game be good. I don't want it to be based upon the original. I want it to be something fresh. I don't want it to be okay or passable or kind of sort of good. No, I want it to be exceptional. I want it to be above average. I want it to be in flying colors to the point where I can't deny this shit because that was the respect I gave Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, I've always hated Mortal Kombat, but even... I had to admit that that was a good game to the point that I ended up buying the fucking game. It's a good game. The foundation for a good game is there. I mean, it's got balance issues, but it just, this doesn't stop me from enjoying the fucking game. And that's the problem I have with games like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. They didn't even try to balance those games out. And Shaq Fu, I'm not even going to talk about balancing that game because I hardly remember anything about that game other than it not being an enjoyable experience. Even after looking back at it recently, it has not aged well. And if they're going to make another one, they better come with it. You can't be half step in this shit in 2014. I'm sorry. We, you, you've, you've had plenty of time. You got plenty of resources to take a look at what most people are expecting from 
an above average fighting game. If that is the case, which I doubt and I hope not. Because we got enough fighting games as it is. The fighting game renaissance is definitely in full effect. But at the same time, who gives a shit? When you're making crappy games like this. We got enough as it is. Besides, when Guilty Gear comes out, <laughs> no other fighting game is going to fucking matter to me. Other than what? Street Fighter 4? KO 13? That's about it. Actual good fighting games are the going to be the ones that actually matter to me. When Guilty Gear comes out, even if Shaq Fu came out with a third one, who gives a shit? Or Jean de Ivoire, mostly mon amis. More to come. And, uh, I know I've been kind of behind with my scheduling of, uh, uploading videos, but that's subject to change. I promise you. It's just, you know, when you're dealing with a terrible sleeping pattern like mine, I'm, I'm pretty much a vampire at this point, but, yeah, I've rambled on enough. In the end of the video, I'll just...